uplift the lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Blessing men and women of God. This is your main man, Minister David Benton, CEO and founder of Beyond Offense Entertainment. We want to welcome you to the Elation Honors Pre Gala Concert. Yes. Elation Honors Pre Gala Concert, November 15th at 9 p.m. 870. Eagle Road, Brentwood, Missouri. Be there because God is going to show up and show out. Shout out to. Clapping is good, but you 
got to get the word out. Get the word out. It's the word. It's the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, 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 open your mouth and say so. Welcome to the Just For You podcast. We are so excited you are with us on today. Listening in to the Just For You podcast, we want to share with you what Just For You is all about. The Just For You podcast is designed to encourage, empower, and engage listeners to thrive spiritually and naturally. Hallelujah. We want you to know that in this, we have our Just For You podcast, Just For You. Let's go over this. It will reveal truth embedded in the Holy Bible to illustrate kingdom living, soul winning, compassion, and strategies to serve mankind, making a difference locally and globally. Just for you will allow listeners to hear teachings that are applicable, guests that will inspire, and opportunities for serving more effectively in the home, church, school, community, and marketplace. That is truly what Just For You is all about. I want to just say we made it through another week. With the help and the strength of the Lord, we're grateful to be in this place to be able to share again on how great God has been in our lives. I want you to know In these last few weeks, I'm sure we've all, all gone through something that has made us think about how will we get through what we have to get through. But I want to just share with you on today how important joy truly is. There's something that we're all going to go through in life that may allow us to feel a little down, frustrated, pulled apart have situations that maybe even nearly wipe us out. But I want to share with you some tools that will help you. And we recognize that we are holistic. That means we have a mind, a body, a spirit, and a soul. And we have to know that all of it has to be healthy in order for us to serve effectively, live a long time in this present earth, my goodness, and be able to function to be able to help somebody else. And I just want to share with you on today what the word says so that you are completely aware of what it is that joy will do for you. Will you follow with me in the book of Nehemiah? We're going to talk about what joy really says there and how it is important. When you go through something, we have a choice. I want to share this with you because I know how important it is. It is very important for us to realize when we are faced with any situation that is negative, it drains our energy, it causes us to be out of whack, that joy can flip that situation around. How do I know that? I have an opportunity to say, I'm going to accept this and get myself all worked up, or I can take a moment and say, listen, let me just center myself. Let me just... Be still, if I will, and allow God to speak to me and begin to think about what is it that I am to receive out of what is going on. And if I knew that I had the power to change that through the joy of the Lord, then you better believe that situation would literally transform my life at that moment. Here's what the Bible says in Nehemiah 8 and 10. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Let me give you a very real real situation. May the Lord of the blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Listen, today, just on today and between yesterday and today, I had a situation I had to get some business taken care of with my phone. Anybody have ever had a phone problem, you know you have to go through getting a new phone or whatever you have to do to settle the situation. While I'm actually there in the phone store, 
I'm listening and I'm watching people come in and out, but yet my situation hadn't been taken care of. I could have gotten very frustrated. I could have gotten irritated. Time is still ticking. I'm thinking to myself, I've got things to do. But God in that moment reminded me, no matter what my schedule was, not only had he sat me still, but there was a blessing in waiting. Let me say this to you. You may not understand why you have to go the route you have to go in, but it is designed, it is purpose for your life, and the outcome of it will yield good. Now, it doesn't feel good, but it is good. So I'm waiting and I'm thinking, here comes a gentleman in the door. We start talking about how great life is, and I'm encouraging him, and he gets his business taken care of, and he's out the door. Then I'm thinking, wow, okay, yes, Lord, you're getting ready to get to me. And still at closing, my business wasn't taken care of. It came over into today. And I'm thinking to myself, when I go in, we're going to get this done. I can get finished what I need to do. And the Lord reminded me to be still. So in this, I'm looking at all these things going on. Here comes the same gentleman from yesterday. He just came in to get some other information, but the Lord reminded me because we had given joy in the midst of a situation the day before that there would be joy on today. And as he left the store, here I am sitting again, waiting and wait. I need somebody to hear this. There are times in the midst of your situation, waiting is mandatory. It doesn't mean it is a denial. It doesn't mean that you're not going to receive. But in your waiting process, what is the attitude? There again, I'm ministering to people in the store. I'm giving encouragement to people. And just as I was doing it, In the midst of all that was going on, my turn finally came up with what I needed to have been taken care of. It's important to recognize and to understand in your waiting that that joy that I had, the peace that I had, even though I was a little concerned at first, just recognizing in the midst of this, it was joy talking to people that were there. It was joy watching God work the situation out. I don't know who this is for today, but just know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. I didn't think about any longer after I was walking out that door and in the process of sitting there, I didn't get a chance to think about all the time it took and the things I had to go through. What I thought about was, man, God, you're doing something major. Today, I need you to know something major is happening in your life, and it's happening for the good. In life, we have to accept those differences, those things that come that we don't expect to happen, but in the midst of it all, there's an answer. There's a blessing waiting on us. I don't know what you're waiting on. All I know is that as you wait, if you put joy in place of frustration, put joy in place of everything that's wrong. If you begin to think about the good in the situation, I guarantee you your mindset is going to change. The outcome is going to change. And how you feel is going to change. And it has everything to do with understanding what joy will do for your life. If I can encourage you today, I want you to know joy starts with you. You can come in and say good morning, or you can start rattling off everything that's going to be bad in your life. You have a choice. And on today, I choose to have the joy of the Lord in my life. I choose to show joy in the midst of what seems like it's there to just wipe me out or make me feel a certain type of way. And because I know that the Lord hears and answers prayer, I know greater will come from the situation. Will you remember today the next time you're faced with a situation that looks like it is hopeless, looks like there's no outcome that's going to work for your good, that even when your tears fall, even when you go through, even when you find yourself not knowing exactly what to do, joy will make all the difference in the world. 
This is an opportunity for you to know. Choose joy over everything that's going on in your life. I am glad you joined us on today. We're going to talk about joy in your world, and I have a very special guest on today, the gentleman that is going to be talking to us about fitness. Hey, I know the holidays are coming, and we all say the same thing, and we all want to do the same thing. We're going to get healthy. We're going to get fit, and there are processes, and there are things that help us get ourselves aligned so that we can have a healthy lifestyle. And our special guest today is Joey Thurman of Chicago, Illinois. He is a great, great example of what fitness is. I had the opportunity to meet him many years ago and so extremely proud of his success and what he's gone on to do with his life. And his physical fitness is just a part of the success of his life. We'd like to welcome at this time Joey Thurman. Joey, are you on the line? I I am here. What an introduction. I'll take that. Thank you. (laughs) Well, we are certainly excited to have you on. I know that life has been extremely wonderful and good to you. I'd like for you to let the listening audience know a little bit about who you are, what you do, and we will go on with your upcoming events. So would you share with us who you are? And, in fact, would you also let us know how you got started in fitness? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I was a kid who moved, moved around. I'm a military brat minus the military. Uh, born in Savannah, mm-hmm. Georgia. Grew up, lived in Wisconsin for a little bit, in St. Louis for a while, and I've been in Chicago, yeah. Chicago for 13 years. Um, mm-hmm. You know, so I, I I grew up playing sports as a kid, and you know, I really went to college basically to play hockey, and I, I found my way uh, into a the head physiology professor's office my senior year, and studied to be a personal trainer, and packed up my bright yellow Mustang convertible and drove to Chicago and inter- interviewed with some gyms and um, took a job at Crunch Fitness uh, for a few months. And I worked at uh, another big corporate gym for five years. And then probably seven, eight years ago, I, I started my own thing and started doing a bunch of TV and wrote a book and just signed a podcast Yay. deal and and uh, got a baby now and all sorts of stuff. Yay! Yay! So we're so excited to hear your success. And um, you said you started out playing sports and um, yeah. you found yourself wanting to be this personal trainer. Tell us a little bit about, we know the health industry is a huge industry that everyone always says, especially at this time of year, they want to lose weight, they're going to be more conscious of health and things of that nature. I'd like to hear from you as what is it that will make the deciding point for a person to change a lifestyle? I know health is so important with that, but when they come to you and they say, hey, Joy, you know what? I'm ready to change my life. Uh, Can you give a few tools and nuggets of what would be necessary for a person to sincerely make a lifestyle change? Absolutely. You know, I mean, if they come in and they have a healthy mindset and they're ready to do it, because if, if the top of you isn't on point, if if you're not ready mentally, you know, yes. you are not going. You're not going to will yourself away from that bad food or that bad diet or the lack of exercise mm-hmm. or anything like that. You know, so if you if you go in there and you dedicate yourself and realize, you know, Rome wasn't built in a Rome wasn't built built in a day, and neither is your perfect perfect birthday suit. You're not going to do it in a day. It's great that mm-hmm. you played high school sports 20, 30 years mm-hmm. ago, but you shouldn't mm-hmm. do the same workout when you did then. You're going to break yourself down. So don't start yeah. too hard. Start, start, mm-hmm. start simple, eat clean. You need to get, pro- number mm-hmm. one is sleep. I'm not, I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not even saying, you know, eating well or working out. You need to sleep well every single night, seven to nine hours. If you don't sleep, sleep enough, then you're going to crave more food. You're going to crave bad food. And then it's a downhill mm-hmm. spiral from there. So right there, make sure your sleep is on point. Then get up and get mm-hmm. moving. It doesn't matter if it's a 20-minute walk before breakfast. Anything in the morning, you can mm-hmm. you can take take a take a little black coffee or some green tea. Go for a 20 or 30-minute walk. Start that way. Just start doing mm-hmm. that and start eating clean. And, and all of these things where you need to eat multiple meals a day, that's actually that's been proven wrong. So as long as you're eating clean, so you're having some 
some ve vegetables if if meat is your thing, some uh, lean meat, organic if possible. Uh, mm -hmm. but, you know, pest pesticide and hormone free would be great. You have a bunch of servings of greens, a couple servings of fruit a day. You know, have some lean protein. Keep yourself moving, even if you're sitting down throughout the day. You know, stand up, mm -hmm. walk around, get a standing desk, and that mm -hmm. non-exercise activity is is huge. You don't need to be working out for hours and hours a day. Keep moving, get up, walk around, walk around your house, walk around the office, mm -hmm. stay moving. But really, number one is sleep. Number two would be eating, and then number three would be exercise. Wow. How awesome is that? And with the holidays coming up, I'm not sure if you cook or anything, but what would a meal be like for Joey Thurman, one that is in fitness and loves, and with all the same things that you've told us, what is it going to be like for you for the holidays? Yeah, you know, for honestly, I'm my thing isn't savory. I'm a sweet guy, which I really need mm -hmm. to be aware of that. So if mm -hmm. if I'm going to have a, a piece of cake, I'm going to eat the entire cake. So I realize, <laughs> okay, if I, if I have that, you know, it, whatever your drug of choice is, whether that's alcohol mm -hmm. or sweets or something else, if you had that little bit, you know what, you want to talk, tell an alcoholic, you've been good, take mm -hmm. a shot, because what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. They're going to go, they're going to go off the deep end. The same thing mm -hmm. with, with me and my sugar addiction. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. I'm going to have that one cookie. I'm going to eat the entire thing. So be, uh, mm -hmm. I'm completely conscious of that. I don't have mm -hmm. a bite because I know what's going to happen mm -hmm. with that. And then, wow. and then, you know, we're, we're having my wife's Greek. So we've got, you know, turkey, mm -hmm. ham, lamb, there's five different types of meat, mm -hmm. a bunch of vegetables, mm -hmm. but I always start with a large salad before anything, mm -hmm. eat the greens mm -hmm. first, a little apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is great for lowering your insulin response of the meal. So if you're going to have a higher carbohydrate meal, which most, you know, Thanksgivings and Christmas or whatever holiday that you celebrate, you know, that mm -hmm. those are high carbohydrate breads and all the sort of stuff and sweets. That little salad with apple cider vinegar would be great to do before that, uh, you know, and then have your, your proteins and, and try to fill up on that stuff first. So you're less likely to overindulge in the, you know, the calories that aren't going to be beneficial for your body for growth and repair. Mm, wonderful, wonderful. And I know that you've been on Good Morning America. I watched that episode and it was awesome. I was so proud of you. And I said, wow, look at Joey. He's doing such a phenomenal job. But I wanted to just talk about, I know you have been in a lot of press and a lot of things you've done, but I want to talk about your new upcoming podcast. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I, I signed a deal with uh, Himalaya Podcast Studios, and you can get uh, mm -hmm. you know the podcast on the Himalaya app. But the podcast is called Fad F A D or mm -hmm. Future. You know, mm -hmm. so I didn't want to just do a, a fitness thing. I, I wanted to do a podcast based off of all of health, wellness, longevity, you know, mindset, mm -hmm. motivation. So essentially, I'm the I'm the guinea pig for all of these episodes. Yes, I'll bring <laughs> experts on, but if if I'm uh, you know ha having a vegan, you know, dietitian on, I go vegan for a month. If I have had somebody that, mm -hmm. you know, has some sort of crazy new workout, I go and try it. So then I have them on mm -hmm. and I'm trying all this, all this out myself. And at the end, I'm letting, I'm letting the listener decide, is this a fad or is this the future? We're having all these sort mm -hmm. of crazy, crazy things. I mean, even um, mm. I'm, I'm going out to LA and interviewing the, the uh, guy who wrote the carnivore diet, which is nothing but mm -hmm. nose to tail meat. No vegetables, nothing yeah. whatsoever. You know, so it's, mm -hmm. it's really interesting. I interviewed uh, Jamie Metzler, who wrote Hacking Darwin, uh, genotyping. Mm -hmm. um, I'm mm -hmm. interviewing, going to Harvard, interviewing David Sinclair uh, from the book that he wrote called Lifespan, New York Times bestseller, wow. how we age and we need to age, slow down our aging process. So I have a lot of um, high-level guests uh, on, and that actually yeah. comes out on uh, November 14th is the first episode. So uh, fad or future. Yeah. Good, good, good. And if someone was interested in connecting up with you for business and, or yes. wanted to just learn more about you, would you like to give our listening audience your contact information so that they're able to connect and please also your information for your podcast so we can be listening in? Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, you can uh, find out about me at joeythurman.com. Um Instagram, Twitter, Facebook is at Joey Thurman Fit. You know, if you want to troll me online, uh, people send messages mm -hmm. to me uh, on Instagram all the time, and, and I respond to every message. Um, 
you can send me an email, joey at joeytherman.com. And if you want to check out the uh, the podcast Instagram page, is Fat or Future Podcast. Uh, and there's up- updates about all that. And then any, anywhere you listen to podcasts, whether it's Spotify, iTunes, Himalaya, iHeartRadio, anywhere, if you type in Joey Thurman or Fad or Future, hit that subscribe mm-hmm. button. It would be great. Um, you know, that's how you can great. find out about that. Well, that sounds absolutely wonderful. I'm so glad to hear your voice and speak with you again. And I pray that the Lord will bless you with so much more success. You are great in your field, and we're so honored that you took the time to be with us on today. And I wish you and your family and pray the best for you guys and that baby. May God bless you and keep you joy. Same for you. I I appreciate it. Thank you so much. No problem. Well, listen, in. you guys have just heard from Joey Thurman, who has a phenomenal career in life and fitness. As you have heard, he said that you can contact him at joeythurman.com. And when you go on, please subscribe. Subscribe to him, and you'll find information about his podcast, all the things that he is doing, and all of the wonderful things that he said today for fitness, please take them to heart and take them to mind. We want you to know that we are believing in holistic living, which is the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And we are Christians. And I truly know that the Lord wants us to be best, our very best in this life. I believe in royalty. And I believe that we can't be fully royal without being fit. And so we are on a mission ourselves to become uh, more fit and healthy and to thrive in life. And I know I can't do anything without the Lord, and I'm excited to learn how much more I can grow and learn for fitness. So I want you to take this information to heart. Keep it in mind, and if you believe that you can do it, you will Keep it in your heart and your mind, as Joy said. If you're not mental on top, if you don't have it where you're really sincere about doing it, you're not going to do it. That's the same way it is with life, same way it is with the Lord. If you're not really fully committed and made up in your mind, you are not going to stay in the faith. Well, listen. We thank Joy Thurman for being on on today, and we're certainly grateful that you took the time to listen in. I just want to continue to share with you and to remind you that if this is your birthday month, we celebrate you. So we want you to know in the month of November, it's your month, it's your birthday month, We celebrate you. If there's something else going on in your life, maybe there's been a death or maybe there's something else in your health or something that is not so celebratory, we want you to know here at Just For You, we are praying for you. We sincerely mean it from the depth of our heart. We are praying for you. And you know in the month of November, on November 15th and 16th, it will be the Elation Honors Gala Weekend. We want to send a shout out to all of our honorees. We have Elder Ernest Richard. We have, as our pastoral appreciation, we have Pastor Jose Aguayo who is now deported, please, please keep him in your prayers as he will be away. And we don't know for how long, but we are still celebrating with him and for him for the elation honors. We have Pastor Dr. Andrew Gibson, and we have Pastor Dr. Barnadale Bailo. Uh, also, as our honoree, Shay Samuels, John Holtz, we have Lo Curry, Ollie, Mrs. Ollie Booker, Pastor Rhonda Bello, Mr. William C. Harris. We have Karen Hoffman, Farrakhan Shegog, Jerry Green, Joseph Stewart, our very first awardee for youth, Joseph Stewart. We have Dr. Charles Pearson, 
and Dr. Scott Spurgeon. Listen, you do not want to miss this event. It is certainly going to be a wonderful event for all to attend. As I stated last time, this will be a sold-out event. We sold out early last year. I know we'll sell out again this year. If you don't have your tickets, please go to Eventbrite under Elation Honors. Look at the event and get your tickets now. We want to make sure everyone is secured for that particular weekend. We also have on Friday night our Pastor's Corner with our very own Elder Ernest Richard, who will facilitate a forum on that evening. We have wonderful, wonderful panelists. Please, we're asking, if you are able to attend, this event will be at the Drury in Brentwood. Drury in Brentwood. And I'm telling you, You want to be there. You want to participate with us. We have the Pastor Corner on Friday evening. We also have day sessions. Our business session will be with Mr. Charles McCutcheon, an author and business guru. He has phenomenal information to provide to us on how to retire early. Following him, we will have our Pain to Purpose, event with our very own Apostle Angela Walker, Dr. Loretta Petit, Apostle Beauty Cooper, and myself. We will close out that afternoon session, and then that evening, our wonderful, wonderful gala will celebrate the honorees we just talked about. Please, we want to send a shout out to our very own Kimmy Robinson, our CEO, founder, and producer. She is fabulous. You haven't met Kimmy. You want to come out that night and get a chance to see the visionary of this wonderful, wonderful Elation Honors uh, Gala Weekend, as well as the Elation Honors, oh, sorry, Elation's Radio and Magazine. She is worth meeting. I'm telling you, she is someone special. Well, listen, our time is up, and we are looking forward to talking back with you again on next week. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedules to listen in. We don't take it lightly. We're appreciative of your time, appreciative of your prayers, appreciative of all of your support. It means a lot. And we will close out as we normally do with prayer. If you have an announcement that you would love for us to announce on this podcast, please send it to Just For You Informed at gmail.com, and we will get that out to the community. If you have something else that you need us to pray about, please also send those prayer requests to Just For You Informed at gmail.com. I thank you again for listening in. Let us close in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing in our lives. Thank you for our guest, Joy Thurman. Continue to bless him in his career. Help him in every area he needs help in as he prepares for his podcast. Lord, we ask that you give him favor. We pray, oh God, In the name of Jesus, for all the listening audience, thank you for them taking their time out. Thank you for them listening in. Thank you, oh God, for them learning something new and being able to grow in your word as well as in life. We thank you, oh Lord, today for every trial and tribulation that has come in our lives. May we remember that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We can make it. We have a hope in you, and all things are possible. Lord, would you just help us with all of those difficult situations right now, those that we really don't know what to do with, God. We lay them in your hands. Give us wisdom on today. Give us strength on today. Give us peace on today. Whatever is needed, we will ask and humbly believe that you will supply it. Father, will you be our provider on today for that one that's seeking a job, the other one that's looking for something else, whatever it is that is needed, we advance. Thank you. 
for being our provider. And then as we close out on today, would you bless that person with an unspoken request, whatever is on their heart, whatever is on their mind, that they really can't speak aloud, but they trust you. Would you take care of that too? For that one who says, how do I get closer to the Lord? I have a need to be closer to him, to be strengthened and to be lifted up and to be able to go on in life with authority and victory. Would you help that one on today? And, Lord, I thank you for being a healer in not only my body, but for everyone seeking healing. Thank you for lifting up my husband and helping him in this season and time of his life. I pray, oh, God, for my sister, Beauty. Uh, Cooper, God, would you just touch her in the name of Jesus from the top of her head to the sole of her feet? Would you bless the Elation Honors Gala Weekend? And, Lord, just look upon all of us. And have your divine will and way. We ask that you forgive us of our sins and we forgive others. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, listen, we've come to the close of another podcast. We thank you for listening in. Would you please put it on your calendar to meet us again for the Just For You podcast every Wednesday at 5.30 Central Standard Time. And we will look to meet you there on next week. May God bless you and keep you, and thank you for listening to Just For You. Glory. Hallelujah.